Out of all the characters that are shown in Bluey, Bluey's grandparents have seemed to have been the most mysterious. Since I've never seen the grandparents talked about, today I'll be diving into the topic of Bluey's grandparents, Anna, Mort, Chili's mom, and Bob. Before we start, please subscribe as I am trying to reach 40,000 subscribers. Thanks! Nana seems to be the least mysterious character out of Bluey's grandparents. She's the mother of Bandit and his two brothers, Stripe and Radley. From what we know about her, she had a Nana herself. You know that I was given this music box by my Nana. You mean you had a Nana? I did. Who's was apparently really nice. Was your Nana a nice Nana? She was about the nicest Nana you would ever want to meet, Bluey. The youngest we've ever seen her is in the episode Fairy Tale, which shows her on vacation with her children. Here, we see her massive perm, and it's revealed that she was quite the mean mother, in contrast to her loving attitude to Bluey and Bingo. She's seen chasing after Bandit with a sandal, and not breaking Bandit's chinks from earlier. I'm not gonna say your name. She's also old school with her parenting, as shown in Baby Race when she puts oil on Bluey's knees to help her walk. A bit of olive oil on those knees will do the trick. But how is olive oil gonna help? This isn't legal anymore. She's also known to give the children whatever they want, whenever they ask. Despite all this, she's just an ordinary grandma who lives with her husband, Bob, who I'll talk about later. But now, let's move on to Chili's side of the family with Mort, Bluey and Bingo's grandpa. He's known to have been in the Australian army at some point, and that he was a war hero with the Victoria Cross for Australia being shown in Chile's possession, which is awarded to soldiers who show self-sacrifice for the force or being a hero. Moore is only shown in two episodes, Grandad and Phones. In Grandad, it's revealed that he has extensive knowledge of the forest from his military experience, and that he has had some sort of heart surgery. No, honey. Grandad's just had heartworm. The doctor says he needs to rest. He also has lost some of his hearing, as he couldn't hear whatever Bluey was whispering. I didn't hear any of that. In phones, it's revealed that he knows how to subdue a crocodile, and that he has never had a phone or learned how to use the internet. You need your phone. I haven't got one. What? He lives on a giant piece of property with a big lake, which is where Chili also grew up. But he used to have a wife, which was Chili's mom. Her actual name is unknown, so I'll just be calling her Chili's mom. Not much is really known about her, as she was really only talked about in the recent episode Dragon. It's only revealed that she was Chili's motivation to continue drawing. Keep practicing, you'll get better. Just don't ever give up, Chili. And that she also likes horses. However, Bluey and Bingo never knew about her, as she had died before the events of the show. Your mom sounds nice. Yeah, she was. But going back to Bandit's side of the family, Bob is by far the most mysterious character in the entirety of Bluey. Bob was only shown in one episode, which is Granny's, one of the worst episodes, but that was in season 1 and he's practically gone missing. It's known that even Bingo has no idea where Bob is, as she said this in the episode Bedroom. Night Grandpa Bob, wherever you are. There have been many theories as to why he hasn't appeared. The most popular theory by far is that he has died, but it doesn't make sense why Bingo doesn't know where he's been. The only other time he has been shown was in Fairy Tale, which was his younger self set in the 80s and there are no hints about where he has been. So this is why he's the most mysterious character of them all. Thanks for watching. Please let me know out of all of Bluey's grandparents which one is your favorite character. Please subscribe and I'll see you all later.